Yo, how you doing? My name is Masood. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much, first of all, for clicking on this video. I just want to say, you know, I really appreciate it for, um, you know, coming over to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to share my opinion on the best way to actually grow your social media in 2018, you know, two months left of 2018 and 2019 and beyond. So, the best way I think is to actually be social. You're probably wondering, bro, like, we could have thought of that ourselves, you know, like, just be social, like, is that the best you can come up with? Well, I think that recently, you know, in today's, or in our culture, like, everyone is always looking for that next hack or that next tip to boost their engagement or to grow their following online. And I think I've been one of those people who've, um, you know, encouraged this behavior by my recent videos on how to, like, you know, grow your Instagram. I've been making these videos on different hacks and tips and tricks and blah 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 but the one thing that everyone's missing is that you know these platforms were intended for you to actually be you know engaged with other people and to actually be social so um, it would make a lot of sense if you just you know were social so staying on that trend and uh, you know coming off that point I wanted to introduce you guys to the Gary Vaynerchuk $1.80 method one pound eighty in my case, since I'm from the UK. But the one dollar eighty method actually works by, um, you know, going on to. It, I, it was originally made uh, to, you know, increase an Instagram following, but I've used it for other platforms as well. But let me just break it down for you simply, so you understand how it works. So basically, the Gary Vaynerchuk one dollar eighty method is, um, you know, originally designed for Instagram, as I said and uh, you what you're doing is you're basically giving your two cents on nine different posts on ten different hashtags so all together if you do the math it adds up to one dollar eighty so what if what how exactly you are supposed to do it is to actually enter a hashtag related to your niche or industry so if you if your profile on instagram is about fashion and you enjoy you know posting pictures about your outfits then you know you can you do that if you're a gym goer you know if you go to the gym um, or you lift weights or whatever or you're into beauty and makeup or you're an entrepreneur general lifestyle whatever your passion is or your interest or whatever your page is about that's what you should or that's the community you should engage with so basically Instagram is really really great because it has suggested hashtags all you do is basically you type the hashtag that you're interested in or that you want to you know basically be associated with and um, you comment something thoughtful on nine of nine different posts in one hashtag literally you go into one comment something thoughtful reply to someone's comment come out go to the next one come out come go to the next one on nine different posts on ten different hashtags and if you do that every day it basically you know people will come across your profile and engage with you and end up following you so I actually used this method um, earlier in the year during the Easter holidays. So if you guys don't know when Easter is for all you international people, <laughs> um, this is Easter in the UK is around April. I don't know why I just assumed that nobody would know when Easter was since it's, since it's associated with like Christianity and everyone's like Christian all over the world. But <laughs> anyway, so um, yeah, I used it when I was back home from university. I had a couple of weeks holiday, so I said, why not? I need to grow my Instagram. And I did this method, um, and, it, and it worked. It grew, it grew my following by about 400 followers. And uh, I was, you know, um, in shock, but um, I, I would say that one disadvantage is I was on my phone for, you know, six, seven hours a day, and uh, my neck was literally like, like that, <laughs> like, like for the whole day. And I was like, you know, just, I could feel it like afterwards, like I literally, in my neck muscles, you know, it's put, it basically, basically what I'm trying to say is it's putting a lot of pressure on your neck. So the best way to actually do this would be maybe just to be in bed and, uh, you know, be lying. <laughs> you can basically do it on your weekends or, you know, in the mornings or at nights. Be on your bed and you can go on your phone and it won't have any negative um, health uh, or adverse effects, <laughs> if you like. Yeah, so use that. And, uh, you know, I, I, I use that story and, um, you know, it works really well. Uh, so you can you can do the same. Also, I wanted to mention that um, it actually works not only on Instagram, it can actually work on other platforms such as YouTube. 
So the way I like to think about it is, you know, a YouTube comment section is a little bit different from any other comment section um, any other, on any other social media platform. Well, you can say it's a little bit um, similar to, to Facebook because on Facebook, if people post any content, <clears throat> you know, people comment down below and it's a little bit different to other platforms. Anyway, how I like to think about it is the YouTube comment section is basically like a massive party. If you think of it like this, everyone is you know talking to each other engaging having fun and basically you want to come in there you want to be the life of the party basically you want to talk to people reply to them um comment something thoughtful about the video say something nice about someone go on some someone's page and and say something nice about their videos you know just be um just be your yeah, uh very you know cool and just be positive um because people will end up um, seeing that and, and um, you know they probably will stumble across your profile and end up following you as well or subscribing to you sorry um, if they feel like you know you have good stuff um, <clears throat> one key point I want to mention is in your comments um, you definitely you want to be you want to be engaging of course but you want to evoke some sort of emotion as I said before when you do evoke an emo emotion in a person that's when you actually get them to take action and by them taking action, it may actually work in your favor. So they may like your comment or they may actually, you know, go onto your profile, as I said, um, go onto your page and, and like your videos or even become a subscriber. So definitely it works to be positive and to actually um, comment, or sorry, talk to other people online. Because literally, if you think about it, I know that the online space is, it feels a little bit different from, you know, the outside world and the reality that we live in. But... You have to remember, at the end of the day, there's somebody behind the screen on the other side of that comment. And it's basically the same sort of principles as if you were in an actual party. Like, it's the same sort of stuff as if you were in another um, social situation. You're literally with another person. So, so yeah, that's, that's as simple as I can put it. <clears throat> so, that was my tip, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and definitely, you know, um, please uh, use this tip, use this concept. I didn't come up with it, but I wanted to introduce you guys to it. So it works really, really well. It takes a lot, um, a lot of time. But if you are, you know, um, you know, you you want to grow your following, then definitely use it. Um, it's worked really well for me, and I'm sure it will for you. So, so yeah, I hope you have a nice day, and I'm gonna catch you guys later. Take care. Peace.